welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the new nude series that I'm doing. So I'm just going to create a bunch of eye looks that I love using my current favourite palette which is a new nude, new nude Huda Beauty eye palette. I've gone for more of an evening look this time so uh, more of like a dark purple smoky eye which I actually love. I literally love it. I love, love, love the palette as well. As you know if you've watched the previous video. So I will be filming a few looks using this palette just because I love it and I want to show how versatile it is. I tend to buy a palette, love it for a bit and then get a bit bored of it but genuinely I can't see myself getting bored of this palette and I bought it I think two months ago and I have been using it daily and I have not been getting bored. I've been creating different looks with it. It's so easy to use. You can create like a really nice daytime purple look, or more of a pink look, or more of a nude look. It's literally so, so <laughs> versatile. The colours are so cute and so blendable. I just love it. So that's why I'm creating a series of makeup looks using this palette so I can just show to you how easy it is to create so many different looks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Starting off with my MAC 224 and this um, really light colour called Beige. I'm just going to add this to my crease section just as kind of a transition colour. Next I'm going to go in with the shade called Lace, which is kind of like a light purpley colour. Next I'm going to go in with this one, which is called Tickle, which I love that name. Um, just to kind of like make it a bit more pink, but I'm going to use basically as many colours as I can because I think the palette is so cute. Next I'm going to swap to a JH33, which is a much smaller crease brush. I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with the shade Tease. But I'm probably going to mix it with the shade Raw, so go in with the both of them. And I'm going to put this colour, all these colours, on my lid. First of all, just using a um, Sigma F35 tapered highlighter brush. I'm just going to apply some um, loose powder, so I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eye just to catch any fall down. Being quite generous with it. So that when um, the shade does fall down I can just wipe it away straight after. So just applying the shades, these darker ones, um, firstly like really close to the lash line because that's why I want it to be more intense and then I'm going to blend it upwards into those lighter shades when I have less on the brush. And if you haven't seen my last couple of videos I've changed recently how I do my eyes so I like to do them both at the same time little by little just to make sure that they come out exactly the same so I haven't finished that eye don't worry so first of all I'm kind of just placing the colour down with the brush kind of like stamping it on my eye a bit where I want the colour to be and then I'm going to go and blend it out more around the edges And I'm even just going to get rid of a tiny bit of the colour on my hand as well, just to make sure, because I don't want to be applying this darker colour really high up. So now I'm just kind of blending it into the crease, into those lighter colours, now that there's not much left on the brush. And I'm going all the way over into the inner corner section, because I do want this to be like a full smoky dark purple eye and then I'm just going to brighten up the inner corners later with a little bit of highlighter or maybe like one of these lighter um, like sparkly colours. Just going back in with a MAC 224, I haven't added anything extra yet onto the brush just to blend it in at the crease and then if I need to go in um, with any of those lighter shades that I was using in the beginning I'm just going to add a tiny tiny bit just to help blend it out. 
So I am going in with a little bit more of Tickle, which was this um, pinker tone here, just to, more than anything else, not with the blending, but just to make sure that we don't lose those little more pinky tones on the outside. So just really lightly adding that pinky colour back in. being very light-handed with my brush on my face and kind of hardly touching it. So I'm happy with that for now. I'm just going to go in with the same brush that I used to apply tees and I'm just going to apply, apply a little bit of raw just to, just to add more colour to it mainly like in the outer part and in the crease as well just to kind of keep it interesting with the different colours you can see but it will be a very subtle addition to the colour before which is what I want and then going back in with the 224 just to blend it all out and I'm going to go in with a bit of Love Bite as well, which is this much deeper purple colour. Again, just to kind of deepen it up and make it a bit more purple. But I'm going to keep this one tight to the lash line all the way along. I'm even just closing my eye just to make sure I can get it as close to the lash line as possible. Next I'm going to swap to a synthetic hair brush, so the one I'm going to use is the JH41 and I'm going to add a tiny bit of shimmer in the inner corner, just deciding which one. I think I'm going to go in with Fantasy, which is this colour right here and yeah just to brighten up the inner corner but I'm not going to bring it over too far actually, just to add a little something something in the corner. So normally I like to use my finger for shimmers just because I feel like it protects the shimmers a bit um, and also just get the most out of your shimmers but because where I want this shimmer to go is so precise and quite hard to get to because it's right in the inner corner I am going to use a brush so I'm just going to spray it with some Fix Plus and then I'm going to go into the shimmer and hopefully you should get a good amount of colour from it. I'm just going to go in with a really tiny brush, um, this is the JH40 and I'm just going to go back in with the two shades that I used first of all, so Lace and Tickle, just in this inner corner section but just a little bit further up, just to help blend it all together and also just make sure that you can still see those colours. And then going back in with a tiny bit of shimmer. So back to the fantasy colour. I'm actually just going to try using my pinky a tiny bit because I just want a bit more colour than what's coming out with the brush. I like it. And then just back in with the brush that I was applying those darker shades to the lid. Just to make sure it's blended in here. Okay. I'm just going to wipe away the fall down and then move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to use the same brush that I just used on the inner corner because it's a perfect little brush size for um, under the, on the lower lash line and inner corner and that sort of thing. And it's the JH40 and I'm going to use all the same colours that I just used on the top. So starting off with this peachy tone which is called Play. Then going in with some lace and then going in with some tickle. I'm going to apply those three all along the lash line. And then in the outer corner, I'm going to apply these two and then a little bit of that one, exactly how I did on the top lid.
I'm going to swap to a smaller smudge brush and this is the JH39 to apply these darker tones to the outer part and keep it much tighter to the lash line as well. Um, literally on the lash line actually. So I'm happy with that for now. So I'm just going to throw on my lashes, a little bit of mascara. I'll probably just finish off the rest of my face as well just with some highlighter and then see if it's finished or if I want to do anything more. So there you have the finished look. I just, as I said, threw on my Lily Lashes in the shade Doa and finished up the rest of my face just with a little bit of highlighter and with a lip as well. I love how this look turned out. I feel like it's a lot darker and dramatic in my, in real life in my mirror than it looks in the camera. But, but yeah, I love the look. I really hope you like it as well. This is the second look that I filmed for the new nude palette, which if you have watched the first one, you know that I'm absolutely loving. So I'm so happy to just keep on making looks using this palette. This is much more of like an evening look for me. It's a bit dramatic, it's a lot darker, it's kind of like a purple smoky eye, so it's not something that I would wear in the daytime, like the previous look that I created, which is more of like a daytime look and it has more of a shimmer and it's just also a lot lighter as well. Anyway, go check it out and you'll see. But yeah, I really hope you like the look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Stay tuned for the next look using this palette. For now, it's goodbye and I'll see you in my next video.